assume that Kelvin Tatum has picked himself up psychologically and mechanically from the last heat because he reappears riding in blue. Four points scored from two rides so far, but on the outside of him, on a maximum, Eric Gunderson riding on the outside in yellow and black is Kocho from Hungary, having scored three points, but inside in the red helmet, John Jorgensen from Denmark. So Kelvin Tatum has it all to do, all eyes on the blue helmeted rider as they streak off into the first turn, but round the outside goes Eric Gunderson looking supreme today Tatum neck and neck with Kocho Kocho putting in a good performance here this afternoon but Tatum has already had a severe talking to by his mentor Barry Briggs he really has to deliver the goods now if he's going to do anything at all Gunderson in white Eric Gunderson Ole Olsen his advisor will be jumping up and down and Olsen incidentally also owns the track here sliding wide Tatum has gone very very wide indeed almost into the fence has absolutely blown his chances because through into second place goes Gunderson leading, leading the pack in the white helmet it's Gunderson in second place it's Kocho. Kocho into second. In third place, Tatum has gone down into third. So Anton Kocho from Hungary has gone up into second. Tremendous win for the Hungarian. Tatum forced down into third because he went wide going into the turn. No mistaking the leader. Nine points from three outings. Eric Gunderson from Denmark. In second place, it was indeed Antel Kocho from Hungary. And in third place, one point only, I'm afraid, Kelvin Tatum of Great Britain. It really does look at this stage as though his chances of the 88 World Final are rapidly diminishing. Brave ride by the Hungarian round the outside of Tatum. Neck and neck, Tatum almost putting him into the fence, but he comes back for more. That's how close it was. No mistaking the leader. A beautifully controlled ride by Eric Gunderson.